Good morning. I'm Jim Schreffler. Uh, I'm an area extension horticulturist working in southeast Oklahoma with Oklahoma Cooperative Extension Service. And we're here at the West Watkins Research and Extension Center this morning uh, here in Atoka County looking at a, a trial of a, of a uh, winter squash variety. It, it's actually a winter, it's actually an heirloom squash that is, that is, uh, that is uh, an heirloom of the Choctaw Nation people. So it's kind of that this particular squash that we're that we're uh, looking at is uh, is thought to have, have been uh, probably come from Central America and eventually w moved its way up into North America into the into what's now the United States, of course, and, and it's been held by the by the by the uh, Native Americans of the Choctaw Nation and maybe other nation maybe other uh, Native American groups also. So, so what, we've been doing some work with the with the Choctaw Nation to help them just provide a little support in their efforts to develop this as, as a crop for, for, their, for farmer, modern day farmers. The, uh, one of the ways that, that it probably hit, traditionally would have been grown was using the three sisters, what they call the three sisters farming system, where you grow each of uh, squash and corn and, and a legume, probably a bean, all, all together. And the, each of those, uh, in a kind of mixed cropping, the, uh, the corn provides some support for the vining, the beans and the squash vines to grow on. The squash, the large squash leaves, as you can see, they shade the ground pretty good. So that would help uh, reduce, uh, present, pre help prevent the weeds from growing and maybe conserve moisture from the soil surface and, and those sort of things. So what we're doing here, is, this is a trial actually where we're trying to figure out what would be the best plant spacing. You know, for, for 10 feet a row, how many plants did you plant there? To produce the best yields and the best fruit size and those sort of things. So, so that's what this is here. And we, our treatments are actually uh, either uh, per 10 feet of row, either two, four, six, or eight plant squash plants. And we can see over here we have a plot where we had just two plants per 10 feet. And then right here we have a plant, uh, a, a plot where the plants are much closer together, and there's eight plants per 10 feet of row. So, uh, when the fruit ripen. It, it, again, it's a winter squash, so it, it's a it, it's squash that it matures. It gets pretty firm. Here we have a, a mature one, and now this is kind of just set here for looks. But actually, this fruit was harvested a year ago, or nearly a year ago, in September of, of last year. So that gives you an idea of what the fruit look, would look like. They they might be sometimes a little bigger, sometimes a little smaller. But uh, but again, it's a, this has just been sitting indoors uh, in 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 my office. For since it was harvested, still nice and firm. So, so it's a very good uh, has good storability. So you get an idea. Very attractive, but also very nutritious. And I won't cut it open, but the fruit is very nice, deep orange color, uh, and it, it it's very tasty. It's a very tasty and, and uh, enjoyable fruit for eating. So, so like I said, this is uh, this is a project we've been doing in cooperation with the Choctaw Nation, and that's part of a bigger bigger project. Uh, that we, we've had going on for several years now to work with Choctaw Nation, uh, both adults and youth, uh, on growing fruits and vegetables to, number one, to learn how to grow fruits and vegetables, and number two, to learn how to market them. Uh, again, this is, uh, this is a very rural area, and, and people, many people uh, need to find ways to make their living off the land and be a crop uh, unique to the Choctaw Nation and they're trying to develop products and all that could be, would be unique. So, so very good product. So we're working with them on that. Now, uh, I'm gonna be, taking, be making some changes in my career in the near future. And I've been, I've been the, uh, the, the lead person on this project, uh, having, working with adults and, and youth, Choctaw adults and youth with growing fruits and vegetables. And, uh, but, but within in a short period of time here, uh, Dr. Shelley Mitchell from the, uh, OSU Landscape and Horticulture Department is going to be taken over as the as the uh, the director of this project, <clears throat> and I think this is going to be this is very timely. Uh, one thing that we've uh, the direction of the project has has again we work with farmers in the area. Each of the county extension educators within the Choctaw Nation have been working with with uh, through the schools with young people on on school gardening projects of various sort, teaching young people how to grow. Uh, various fruits and vegetables and things, and uh, so she, that's that is Shelley's forte. She's been working with that, uh, with with youth education in, in horticulture, and ex and recently has developed some really interesting uh, uh, teaching aids 
so to speak, that, that, uh, that, uh, that are going to fit very well with the other project activities here. So, Shelly, uh, it's glad to have you here visiting today. Thank you. And we're really pleased that you've been willing to take on this role of working with the project and all. And well, I hope I can keep up <laughs> with your awesomeness. All right. So I, de I developed a couple of kits we're going to be giving to the kids. And uh, one is the Gardens to Go kit we've shown in other uh, episodes. And it has 18 activities for elementary children. And then we also have a kit for the older children, which is Plantology. And it has 12 activities that are more in-depth. So we'll be integrating this into the project with the Choctaws. The county okay. extension agents are also very involved in this project. And so if you're interested in this project, for more information, you can contact your local county extension agent. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion. Thank you.